यूजफुल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स यूजफुल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स राइट वॉट आर यूजफुल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स ए सम एग्जाम्पल्स और देर लाइक ए बैक्टीरिया इफ यू टेक बैक्टीरिया विच बैक्टीरिया लैक्टो बैसिलस बैक्टीरिया लैक्टो बैसिलस लैक्टो बैसिलस बैक्टीरिया जनरली वी नो दैट मेकिंग ऑफ कर्ड यूजली इन एवरी हाउसेस मदर्स और जनरली मेकिंग द कर्ड इट सेल्फ लाइक हाउ टू मेक ए कर्ड वॉट दे वॉट दे आर डूइंग दैट जनरली दे आर टेकिंग ए बॉल ऑफ मिल्क एंड एड सम वाटर एंड हीट इट ओवर द स्टाव फॉर a few minutes until they can get moist and later they can make them into cool for room temperature and when their milk coming to the lukewarm heat and automatically they will add one spoon of a curd or a butter milk and uh, leave it for 4 to 5 hours or maybe sometimes the whole night the very next day morning when you observe that the bowl of milk is converted into curd this is what generally the process is happening right so this is the process of uh, uh, functioning of curd formation right and who will make that milk into curd nothing but bacteria lactobacillus bacteria present in the curd is converting the liquid state of milk into semi solid state of curd right and so this is a, a one kind of useful bacteria comes under useful bacteria right and the latter fungi 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 is also some useful for us sometimes but uh, we can see that uh, take a, a cup of maida dough or maybe the atta whatever and add some water and add one or two spoons of uh, yeast to the maida dough and mix it well properly like a dough itself and uh, completely you can insert it in the in a bowl or maybe in a cup itself right leave it for whole night in the very next day when you are observing the maida dough which you kept in the cup or maybe a bowl it raises up over the bowl it is coming out and what happens and why the the volume of the dough has increased what happens that's nothing but the yeast what we have added in the maida dough or maybe the flour is fermented happening fermentation fermentation what is fermentation nothing but anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration fermentation is nothing but anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration during anaerobic respiration what happens the yeast produce the carbon dioxide and the lactic acid right so that automatically the carbon dioxide produced during the process of fermentation increase the volume of dough in the bowl or maybe the cup this is the reason the bowl of uh, uh, the dough increases in the volume itself right and it make it so soft the same process even in the bakery people uh, they are using during the Are baking the cakes itself so that they are very fluff, fluffy and very soft because of adding yeast to the the flour what they are using to make all these cakes and buns this is the reason so the fungi is also comes under another kind of a useful micro organism the latter the another thing is a penicillin is also a kind of a fungi penicillin means we can say that it's a commercially so useful commercially so useful because uh, some fungal organisms we are using to make some medicines like a uh, antibiotics antibiotics like a uh, aromycin streptomycin some examples of uh, 
antibiotics aromycin streptomycin erythromycin these are some examples of antibiotics these are prepared by particularly some fungal organisms right and we know that the penicillin is a kind of an antibiotic this antibiotic is made out of uh, the fungi which is named as a penicillium notatum penicillium notatum penicillium notatum is the name of a fungi which helped to preparing the penicillin in one of the best ever antibiotic so that commercially also we are getting a so much benefit from the microorganisms Ha 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 ha.